Hi Capricorn, welcome back in. You're watching the Sacred Sun Tarot. This is going to be your reading from 15th 25th of October. Let's see what's coming towards you. Reverse the roles if needed. Switch the cases. This may not be your reading entirely, right? Watch them for any placement. Moon rising, Venus, Jupiter. What's going to be the overall energy in impacting or influencing Capricorn this week? Wow, Capricorn, starting all over again in a love connection or starting a new love connection in your life. This is something very romantic coming towards you. This week, love is going to be very important. Two of Cups energy and we have two of Swords. Some important decision regarding love, star in reversed. All right, so something happened recently and uh, for some of you, I'm listening that you're confused about a decision in love. Two and two. Two of swords, two of cups. It's about a decision, right? A pending decision. Uh, it can be that one of you, whosoever is in this connection, one of you have to decide about something. And uh, they're quietly thinking about it. This can be your energy as well, where you're quietly thinking about it. All right, let us see what was there in the recent past recent past for Capricorn Queen of Cups Ten of Cups Eight of Wands all right can be a communication coming towards you from a water sign Cancer Pisces Scorpio somebody in love with you or somebody you have a lot of emotion for right Six of Wands can be fire sign also but this is about commitment Yes, definitely. Two of Cups, Ten of Cups, and this is going to be a kind of soulmate connection, right? I think this has already happened. This communication has already arrived. What else? Current situation. Five of Pentacles, Emperor, and Two of Pentacles. Masculine energy is very confused about the decision. Very confused. I feel that the feminine energy is more ready right now. But the masculine energy is very confused. We have the chariot and the magician is trying to come out here. Hmm. There's so much confusion about moving forward in this situation because there's one person in the picture, can be an Aries individual, a father figure, who is very controlling and authoritative, right? This was a communication about love. I'm listening, partnership. Strong lack of support coming from an authoritative figure. Lack of support in this situation, right? And I'm also listening that somebody is very confused about moving forward quickly in something, right? Let's first see what is going to happen in the upcoming time period and then we will clarify the cards needed. The Wheel of Fortune, the King of Pentacles and the Nine of Cups. That's very nice. And the Ace of Pentacles. All right, beautiful beautiful the current energies are a bit wishy-washy at the moment i see you are also confused and quietly thinking about the situation whether you should be making the decision here or not the choice or not i see wishy-washy thing going on right now because because somewhere in the mix there's a feeling of being abandoned there's a feeling of not getting sufficient support from an authoritative figure or there's somebody who is very stubborn right in the picture and this person is not supporting the situation but not for long because wheel of fortune with the ace of pentacles either you're going to have very fresh new opportunities coming in or this is going to be a new beginning so very nice very nice let's clarify the cards we need what is this two of cups energy i'm quite excited about this overall energy because Love is going to be very important this week. We have something. Give me a second. Some cards popped out. Three of cups under the deck. All right. They came up this way. Ten of wands in reversed and the world. We have the three of cups here. Let me have one more card. What is this world about? An ending or starting all over again? Releasing the burdens and two of pentacles. Can you see this? Right. Hmm. All right. 
The past is coming to an end. The past situation is coming to an end. The burden is over and the feeling of feeling left out and cold is getting over now, right? Whatever the situation was, which was, which was causing a lot of burden over your head, it's getting over. But now what? What next is the, uh, the phrase that is coming to my mind. What next? Confused, juggling, quietly making decisions, trying to take the charge of the situation and thinking what next. Somewhere at heart, you still remember the pain of this past situation that was like feeling abandoned, not getting the support of the people you love or the people you were expecting support from. Probably some of them did not support you, right? So now you're coming out of a very controlling position. You're taking the charge of the situation right i'm coming to the authority i'm taking the charge but what next right what next is the feeling here let me clarify what was this communication when things were going on so good i'm also uh, i'm also getting a picture here that in the beginning or in the starting of this situation you were relying too much over the people around you there was so much love, there was so much compassion. You thought that this is going to be your happily ever after or this can be a situation where you were thinking that your family members and your people around you, they're going to support in this situation. But something did not go as per what you expect. What is this Eight of Wands communication? King of Pentacles, Empress and the Page of Wands. All right. So we have the Queen of Wands here as well. King of Pentacles is twice. This is your energy, Earth energy, as you know. This is more about energy and not gender. So definitely there was somebody in picture. I see mother, father, parents, boss figure or somebody who is uh, like elder than you. I don't know how much, but elder than you, right? I see an emotion of convincing somebody here. And they're not getting convinced. Okay, well, let me see what is this emperor? What are you taking charge of? Because that is what is needed. You're coming from a point of feeling abandoned and uh, not getting the required support. And this is irritating. Strength, tower and ace of cups. Dealing with emotions, right? The fool. Now I feel here, Capricorns, that where you're coming from was too much emotion. There was a feeling that I need the support of my loved ones or the people surrounding me. They need to come along with me. There was a feeling that these people need to come along with me or I need to take everybody along. So what happened suddenly? Why was this Five of Pentacles energy? Somebody did not give you the required support, right? And the moment the situation happened, or the moment the situation is going to happen, it will be like a tower moment, an emotional tower moment, right? And this is going to bring you to a point of strength. You know, sometimes universe gives us a jerk. The people around us, they're not really bad, but sometimes there are some lessons, right? And the lessons come in really hard. Maybe you were relying too much over the people around you and universe wanted you to be more self-dependent, more strong, more powerful, with a lot of strength and have new starting for your own self. This is going to be an emotional beginning. I'm listening for some of you. Emotional beginning, right? But uh, that will come in with a jerk. That will come in with a push. And that is what is coming from the universe, the tower at the center of the reading. And this tower moment is going to convert you into an emperor, which is needed. Right? You need to be more strong and need to take the charge of the situation. Why are you juggling two of pentacles? What is this confusion then? After this, what next? Ace of pentacles, queen of pentacles, the sun. Beautiful. Can be a Virgo Leo cusp you're dealing with. Strongly, this can be your energy as well with the queen of pentacles, right? I see a lot of partnership here, Capricorn. After so long, I'm picking up such good cards of partnership in your reading. So it can be an important partnership in your surroundings. Your spouse, somebody you're dating. But there's a, there's a sense of partnership, genuine partnership, right? Where people are going to support each other. And this new, I'm sorry, this new opportunity coming towards you is going to bring in that kind of support because king and queen of pentacles are very grounded 
they both have a capacity to support each other and they do they do right a very mature stable couple here and that is going to bring in that much needed happiness that you were looking for i'm also uh, i'm also getting the picture here that somebody is very new in your environment this is a very fresh new vibe bringing in a lot of light and bright energies right light and bright this is something new right this is definitely ace of pentacles ace of cups ace of pentacles this is definitely something new the past situation was tough right which actually pushed you to the position of emperor ten of swords ending the past coming very quickly there's something coming towards you very quickly five of swords queen of wands and the devil definitely third party situation for some of you but this is not going to be a third party where both the people are stuck at the moment no this is more about leaving something from the past and moving on right for some of you this can be a new love situation i'm picking up what is this Wheel of Fortune bringing for Capricorn? What is this Wheel of Fortune here? Page of Cups, Capricorn. So this is going to be a romantic communication, which is quite good. What is this Page of Cups about? Five of Wands and King of Cups. All right. Seven of Swords energy here. Watch out for the people in between because I see a lot of conflict regarding a communication. How to initiate? For some of you, this can be that you've recently found new love and that came in suddenly. You want to offer something to this person or this person wants to offer something to you. But there's a lot of conflict in between. I'm listening a chaotic situation, chaos for some of you. And there's love, no doubt. And you know what? I'm picking up a lot of people involved in the picture. Emperor, Empress, Queen of Pentacles, Queen, King of Pentacles. Then we have uh, the King of Pen uh, King of Cups, I'm sorry. So multiple human figures involved in the picture for sure. And there's chaos, right? Two can be couple, three is chaos, three is crowd, isn't it? And I think this situation is becoming crowdy. A lot of people, a lot of opinions, this, this all is causing a chaos in the situation. And for some of you, I'm listening that you will find a way out. Because the situation is turning chaotic, multiple people are giving their opinions, they're giving their words, which is sometimes not needed, right? Uh, when we have to make quick decisions, we have to strategize things, we have to avoid multiple opinions in our surroundings. I think that is what you're doing with the Seven of Swords energy, right? Emperor, again, that vibe of turning a back towards the chaos and taking the charge of the situation. This is very nice. What is this King of Pentacles energy for Capricorn? Fool, Six of Wands, Emperor, I'm sorry, the Hierophant. And we have the Star, so you are ready. I'm getting that get set, go Capricorn, you're ready. The moment universe brings in that push to you with the Tower moment, you're going to be an altogether new person. I do feel that there will be a gap, like few days, where you will be thinking too much about the situation for this new beginning, for this new leap of faith. And that will be the phase of uh, this Two of Pentacles energy where past is over and you're starting for something new. I'm also uh, getting a picture here that you're going to lay off the burden whatever this five of wands energy is you're not going to carry it anymore so whatever um, opinions and suggestions and uh, controlling aspects coming from the outside you're going to let it go very nicely and you are ready for something new you're ready for this new venture for some of you this is going to be a new job a new relationship something which is going to bring in a lot of fame a lot of popularity and a lot of authority also i'm listening here hierophant can be a job wow uh can be a relationship of course right so get ready for something new i see strong earth energy water energy libra taurus aries a lot of a lot of uh, people in the picture and a lot of energies right but ultimately what it is going to lead to is nine of cups so you are going to be happy towards the end and whatever you decide at the end it's for you right the moment you take the charge it is going to bring in a lot of happiness here let me see what is this nine of cups quickly nine of cups 
Knight of Swords, Five of Swords, and Ten of Swords in reverse. All right, so I'm not holding the deck wrong, but it is coming in reverse. All right, we'll take it that way. No clarity given, no more mind games, and Ten of Swords in reverse coming out of the pain. Like, right? Ten of Swords upright, you were still healing. The swords were there in your back, and you, were, you, you did not release them right in past. But now you're coming to a point where I'm done, I'm releasing it, I'm going out. Knight of Swords reverse, not entertaining any kind of rash communication. I'm also listening that some this situation can lead to some kind of conflict, Three of Swords, but uh, you're not going to entertain it very nicely, right? Because you're ready for the leap of faith. Some kind of pain is attached in the situation because you're actually dealing with your loved ones, right? You're dealing with the people who actually hold some kind of importance in your life. But when we take the charge of the situation and we make some decisions, they tend to be harsh for some people, right, in our surroundings. So that can ultimately lead to some kind of harsh decisions where you're done with the mind games, done with the pain, done with uh, explaining your point to people, giving clarity to people. I'm done and I'm going to do what makes me feel happy. Yeah, exactly. That's the vibe here. Oh, we have the Communicate Clearly card here. All right. Messages for Capricorn. Wow. <laughs> Did you see that, Capricorn? Romance. Again, that, that same vibe of the beginning. Romance. Two of Cups. We also have within the few weeks, within the next few weeks, Capricorn, get, set, go. You're ready. And whatever this time period is, the time period of weeks in between, I feel that this is more about taking the charge, taking the control and thinking how to proceed, strategizing things, right? And once you're done with that, this is going to be your new start, new start in romance. So overall, it's very positive, Capricorn. It's just that when we're dealing with our loved ones, it hurts, right? We have so much expectations. We also have it. They also have it. And it comes into conflict. And it happens when we're dealing with the people we are in love with. This can be romantic. This can be family. This can be our uh, the people we live with, right? Whenever there are different opinions, it always leads to conflict. But ultimately, we have to take stands for ourselves because nobody is going to do it for you, right? Because nobody else can understand what's going on in the inner world. So that is your reading for the week. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.